Hello, welcome, welcome. I am uploading, I did um, Higgins, but I got blocked. It was like, I think it was like fairy magic or it was like baby witch magic. So I meditated on it and removed the blocks. Um, and if anyone, oh, I saw the comment about Brian Albert actually being born in September. So he's the hermit, which makes sense because he's the smartest guy in the room, usually. Like, the hermits are the smartest guy in the room. The thing that doesn't make sense as much is that he's an earth sign, but thanks for that. If anyone can find Auntie Bev's birthday, Allie McCabe's birthday, or Colin Albert's birthday, I found something that said he was born in March, so he's also, he could be an Aries. So he could be fire, or he could be water. I... So what we're looking for is Auntie Bev, Allie McCabe, and Colin's specific birth date. And so what I want to do, the um, Higgins reading is uploading right now. So by the time you see this, hopefully that's already gone, or up, gone and up. Let's finish Higgins, and then we'll move on to other things. Welcome, my name is Kate. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you're here. If you'd like to book a reading, there is a link in the bio and in every reading that I do. If you have any trouble though, or it's confusing, can you let me know so that I can fix it? And with that, we will get started. Oh, they, one last thing, these cards aren't ready, so I'm just chatting. The, well, there's a jumper. One last thing is that um, I saw the comment that those were Facebook Messenger text, which makes a lot more sense, except they admitted them into evidence as text messages. And if I'm wrong about that, I can still, I don't know, I didn't look at it to compare it to Messenger. I don't use, I use Messenger <laughs> like one. I do, I have like a conversation with one person over Messenger. The rest of it, I don't. So with that, we will jump into Higgins. We had a jumper and see what, I don't know how that, I can't remember how that last reading ended. I just remember being annoyed because I was getting blocked. Welcome, if you're in the balcony, I'm so glad you're here. And I say this every time, but I don't read this deck in reverse. So if you see me flip them, that's why. We have the world. The world's an ending in true crime tarot. Oh, we have death. Oh boy. Again, it's the high priestess. I wonder if he's trying to get away too. What? <laughs> uh. Hmm. All right. Oh, I forgot to check the jumper. The jumper, oh, he's a master of his trade, hard worker. This is the ATF agent. He is an AG ATF agent. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure that the top, you guys can see this and the top's on. I kind of liked not knowing, but then it would be so annoying if you guys got turned off and I didn't have the, okay, okay. Oh, so what we have here, I think that Higgins, I mean, okay. I think what happened with Higgins is he was usually this represents John and Ethan have shown us this. They're the fool. They're running into the house completely blind by what is about to happen to them. They're naive. We have the five of swords. Five's always chaos, no matter what you're reading, um, because you've outgrown your four. So the four is the pillars of a building. 
five of his chaos, this kid looks like a traitor or something. He, he's not stealing their swords, but he's in a battle of some kind. This is mostly victim mentality in true crime tarot. Wah, wah. The whole weight of the world is on my shoulders. I'm so tired of carrying it. This is a night. Um, what's Higgins' birthday? Justice. So he is, where's my justice card? I have a, justice is Libra. Okay. So he's an heir. I'm going to write that on here. Heir and Libra. Okay. We have someone offering a gift. These also look a little bit familiar to Proctor got these cards. See, this guy's trying to run away. This is a happy home. In the Idaho four case, this was always fake. Oh, and the decision makers always showed it to us. This is the high priestess. She's your ride or die. She's your bestie. She's also the BJ queen sometimes. She's like the third wheel of death. That's straight up. I wonder if we are tapping into John. I mean, these, this doesn't look good for Higgins. Let's just say that. This looks really similar to Proctor. <laughs> I need some clarity. These look super similar to Proctor's cards. I wonder if he got it in over his head with Benefer. Perhaps he did. Yeah, I think this is the Nine of Swords seen between the lines. You know, he's staying up at night because people are figuring out this deception. What did he do? Is he in as much trouble as Higgins? Yeah, here's, I mean, um, Proctor. Ooh. Oh, the, so this is fleeting happiness. This is also smoke and mirrors. How did these get so un upside down? Yeah, this is fleeting happiness and smoke and mirrors. We also have the 10 of pentacles. This is like family money. This has represented um, when Prince Harry was a, Prince before he was just like the king of Montecito or whatever. <laughs> this is money. Making a decision. There's lots of pentacles here. Pentacles. Oh man. I think Proctor got in way over his head and he doesn't know what to do. He's really stuck between a rock and a hard place again. I think he's feeling the same. We can do, let's do some of Ashley's cards. I am looking over at the um, Game of Thrones cards though, because I think that we might be looking at Proctor 2.0. I heard somewhere yesterday, or I saw something that Brian Albert, and I don't know how true this is. Take it all. Oh, take everything with a grain of salt. And this is allegedly no facts here. Just check with the tarot deck. It's all my opinion. Do y'all have Google? I heard somewhere, I think it was on some law tour, that Brian Albert has his own feds investigation. If you're getting targeted by the feds, according, I learned this in the, well, if you've done any of the research on the ma the mafia, that was like, um, it's a really stressful time. And um, Adelson was a complete wreck. I think that Higgins got himself into trouble. And I think, well, these cards just jumped. Corrupted media source, we know that. And biochemistry scientific. 
Oh, I wonder if his DNA is on John. Yikes. So I was putting together a video of that um, Truth Revealed. I think his name is, he's the linguist. He used to be a federal agent. He's retired now. And um, I think this is like, I think Higgins is in as much trouble as Proctor is between the feds and Benefer. You guys, I bet you below ground. Well, I need to make note of this. Higgins is involved in our trafficking situation. And someone asked me to look if the tunnel system goes to the pizzeria. It's a good idea. I haven't looked at it yet. I was looking for 34 Fair Fairview's birthday. Like, you know, when they build the house and it's on Zillow or whatever. And I found the year, but I couldn't find the month. I think Higgins is not quite as squeaky clean as he tried to come off. Higgins and this underground tunnel system. That's top secret. Yeah, he's dumb. So what we don't know about this organization, which is, well, definitely nationwide, you so far has been connected to two of the true crime cases that we've done. And I think he was even connected or the organization was connected to Matthew Perry now that I'm remembering it. And so perhaps three that I can remember off the top of my head. The corrupted media source, we know, fear, drive, make everyone afraid so that you can control them. Got it. And I think Higgins is balls deep in this organization and he knows he's in trouble. He's in big trouble. I think he definitely, he was jealous, stage five clinger, and he... It, he's just so, I would never, any of these people are not that cool to hang out with, it sounds like, but it sounds especially not cool when the whispers of the unsolved tell us what's going on. Oh, Ashley at the Reckoning, I say hi to her, or I shout her out every day because I absolutely love her and I love these cards. I'm just putting them in order as I'm thinking because right now what we're looking at is like Higgins is balls deep in the organization. I kind of wish the organization was like a family because at least then we could put like a, a name or I, I don't, I guess it's very human of me to want to have like a, a name to put on it. There's not like, and perhaps there is, if there is the head of an organ, this organization, I haven't found it yet. And through all of our research, which I'd like to give a shout out to our research team. They are, the best. Absolutely. And I love you. Um, we have not, it keeps, it gets narrower and narrower, but I wouldn't say so-and-so is in charge of it. Probably goes back to BlackRock. Everything goes back to BlackRock, but yeah, I mean, from what we're looking at right here, Higgins is in deep with the organization and Higgins is in some big trouble. He took trades. It looks like to me, he traded money for Thank God we didn't get any kids, but he traded money. He's a hard worker. So I'm guessing what happened was like this. I get I I guess it's probably like an addiction. I can talk about it from that because I'm in recovery, but you never just like have fun at a party, cup, drink a couple of beers, and then end up under a bridge. It's a progression. So I'm guessing that his deals with the devil were progression too, and it's, oh, I wonder what he traded. I, yeah, I, I, he's in trouble. Oh, I don't even know what to say. 
He's in with this organization. I'm going to clear it because he's in with this organization and he's in trouble. So it goes back to like, every, no matter how bad your day is, it's better than Proctor, Auntie Bev, and now Higgins. Yikes. I guess it sucks to be you, bud. I don't know what to tell you, but... That's it. He's in deep. So the recap is Higgins is in as much trouble as Proctor. Higgins is in deep with a below ground organization. It's a top secret organization. We know that. There's corrupt media source. We know that. I mean, the fact that they even had the audacity to paint this as a murder. When you have the Arctic guys straight up saying there was no car involved in this. And DNA, his DNA is somewhere. I bet, of course, they didn't do it. Did they um, cremate him? I wonder. Or if maybe the feds know that it's B Brian, Al uh, Brian Higgins' DNA. He's in trouble. Auntie Bev, she's probably not sleeping well. I hope she got her affairs in order. I told her it was coming. I even gave her a couple day warning. You're in trouble. So that's it. Higgins is in the organization, Balls Deep. I have no idea where he is in it. I have no idea. He took a lot of money, made a lot of favors. A lot of things went away, I'm sure, I'm guessing all the way through to his family. I wonder if he like bought his parents a house or bought his mom a boat or a car or something. Something, he loves his mom. He's the mama's boy that didn't get the memo. That <laughs> can't marry your mom. But um, he's in trouble. So I'll love you and leave you with that. I wanna jump on to something else. We have like Allie McCabe. I still need her birthday, but I'm curious about that. I saw a comment that Alan Jackson asked her if she took Chloe with her when she dropped Colin off or didn't drop Colin off. So I want to look into Allie. We'll jump into her next. Higgins. It's a tough day to be a criminal. I love saying that. I get to say it a lot more lately. All right. Good night. Thank you.